Russia may allow a high-level monitoring mission to access Crimea and tens parts of eastern Ukraine. That's according to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. This follows numerous attempts by the organization's officials to enter the peninsula recently, aiming to find out what is really happening. Before any agreement can be made, though, the OSCE's 57 member states all have to agree to proposals to allow about 100 monitors to look into human rights, ethnic issues, and security, including Russia, which has veto power. Meanwhile, Romania's president has accused the Kremlin of creating a so-called chain of conflicts, which aimed to rebuild the former Soviet Union. In an interview, Trajan Bashechu speculated that Russia could possibly target Moldova next. It currently has about 1,500 troops in Transnistra, a breakaway region bordering Ukraine and Moldova, which declared independence in 1990. Just as Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree recognizing Crimea as a sovereign state following last week's referendum, thousands of volunteers have joined Ukraine's National Guard, each one of them prepared to defend their country against what they call blatant aggression from Russia. In parliament, acting Ukrainian President Alexander Turchinov called for mobilization within 45 days. However, on Ukraine's eastern borders, it's a David versus Goliath battle. Ukraine has 6,000 combat-ready troops on the border, but Russia has over 200,000. Kiev now waits to see whether Russia will make further incursions into the south and east of their country.